Hi, my name is Babette. Welcome to lesson four of Babette's Guide to Rhythm. In this lesson we're going to talk about eighth notes. First I'm going to draw you one. Draw it up here. Eighth note has a note head, it has a stem, and it has a tail. That may not look familiar to you because most of the time we don't see individual eighth notes. We see them in pairs where there are two note heads, two stems, and a beam connecting the two. And the beam is used rather than tails so it will look neater. Now, two eighth notes equal one quarter note. Notice the quarter note has the note head and the stem, but it has no tail on it, has no flag on it. What do I mean by two eighth notes equal one quarter note? That means that there are two equal eighth notes taking up the same amount of space as one quarter note. Remember how we played our quarter notes precisely on the beat. Here I'll put up four quarter notes and this mark means it's being played on the beat. So now if we have four quarter notes, one being played precisely on each beat, how do we do our eighth notes? We have two eighth notes in each beat. And that beat that we're playing on the quarter note is going to be on that first eighth note. Now, often, it's difficult to play the two eighth notes evenly. And what I mean by evenly is that they're, they're both the same length. The first one is not longer than the second one, and the second one is not longer than the first one. They are the same length, and it's difficult to play it that way sometimes. So what we're going to do is practice by subdividing the beat. And in that way, each eighth note will be on the click of a metronome. We're going to play each eighth note with the click of the metronome. Remember that's precisely with the click. So if we play each eighth note precisely with the click of the metronome, when we get to our exercise, how are we going to do our quarter notes? That means each quarter note is going to have two clicks. Okay? Now, in just a minute, I'm going to show you the exercise that we're going to work on and we're going to start with a little introduction so that you can see how to do this. Okay? Okay, I'm going to give you a little explanation of this exercise before we start. We're going to start at a metronome marking of 60 and we're going to subdivide. So you will hear one click for each eighth note and you will play each eighth note precisely with that click. Therefore, this means that when you see a quarter note, you will hear two clicks. Now let me show you what the clicks sound like. Tick tock, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. So the tick is the beat of the quarter note. So this is what the exercise will sound like. Ta, 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 ta.
ta ti 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 ta 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 ti 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 let's jump to the last line ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti ta ti ti and so on one last thing don't forget to count off eight beats before you start those will be did you catch that let's do it again one two three four five six seven eight and now we're ready to begin. We are going to begin this exercise with a metronome marking of 60. And the first time through, we are going to play with the beat being subdivided, which means that there will be a click for each eighth note, and therefore, two clicks for each quarter note. Remember to take a deep breath and count off eight beats before you start. Deep breath and go. We're now going to play the same exercise, still at a metronome marking of 60, but this time the beat will not be subdivided, so there'll only be one click for each quarter note, one click for each two eighth notes. Remember, you have to keep those eighth notes even. Are you ready? Let's take a deep breath. Count off eight beats and begin.
Now it's time to practice this exercise at a metronome marking of 92. And this time, this is subdivided. So it's time to take a deep breath. Don't forget to count off your eight beats and begin. We are still at a metronome marking of 92. This time, the beat is not subdivided. So take a deep breath. Count off your eight beats and begin. Now we're going to do this exercise subdivided at a metronome marking of 120. So it's time to take a deep breath. When we begin, count off your eight beats. Go. And lastly, we're going to do this exercise at a metronome marking of 120 again. This time the beat will not be subdivided. So, it's time to take a deep breath. And 
we'll count off eight beats. Let's begin. That's it for this lesson on eighth notes. We'll see you again for lesson five when we'll continue our work on eighth notes. And until then, bye-bye.